Hi guys, welcome back to Big John TV. On today's What's Cooking Wednesday, we've got Korean style grilled beef lettuce wraps. And we're using K-Mama sauce. We met these guys at the Winter Fancy Food Fest. We really enjoyed their product. When we tasted it there, um, it's a vegan product, no MSG, it's 100% non-GMO. They've got 30% of their profits going to local charities, local and national charities. The guy that makes this was super cool. He made this because he was missing his mom. Just a super sweet story. We'll put the link to his website down below. You should go check it out. This flavor of this sauce is a really great, complex flavor. It's not just spicy. You get all these other spices and seasonings in it, and it's going to go great in this recipe. So come on and I'll show you how to put it together. This is a pretty simple recipe. It doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients, but it's going to pack a lot of flavor. We're going to start with a quarter cup of soy sauce. We've got two tablespoons of coconut oil and one tablespoon of sesame oil, four tablespoons of brown sugar, four cloves of garlic, and four tablespoons of the K-Mama original style sauce. They do have a spicy, but I'm going to save that one for dipping to make this a little more kid friendly. Now, if you don't have the K-Mama sauce, I'm sorry, you should get some, but you could also substitute sriracha. That would work really well here. All right, I've got in my plastic bag here about three pounds of boneless chuck steak. This is really thinly cut and it's got beautiful marbling. You can use any cut of meat you want, but you do want something that's got a nice fat content to it so that it doesn't dry out when you go to grill it later. And I like to marinate in a plastic bag so I can smush it around as it's marinating and make sure the flavors get everywhere. And our marinade just goes right in this bag. All right, we're gonna pop our meat in the fridge. This can go from an hour if you just want it lightly seasoned to overnight if you really want the flavor to be embedded in the meat. And every once in a while, just walk in and give it a little bit of a squish and move that marinade around. All right, the meat is out of the marinade and ready for the grill. We've got a really hot fire and this is really thin meat. It's only gonna take a couple minutes on either side, but we do wanna get a nice char to this meat. It adds to the flavor. All right, time to slice some meat. So you want it, try to find the grain again, go against it like I've taught you before. And we want it to be thin. Perfect. All right, let me hammer out the rest of these. All right, slicing is complete. I'm gonna reload it in here, and I'm gonna let Jess build a build a lettuce wrap. All right, I've got my nice romaine lettuce leaves. Give it a little bit of meat. Actually, I'll make one for me and one for John because he won't eat it with cilantro on it. A little bit of the quick pickles. To make the quick pickles, you'll combine two cups of sugar, two cups of white vinegar, and two teaspoons of salt. Bring this to a boil. All right, it's just reached a low boil. I've got in here three carrots and half of a small jicama and we're gonna pour the liquid over. Cover it tightly with Saran and set it aside. This will be ready in about 30 minutes. All right, our quick pickled carrots and jicama are done. They've gotten just a little bit softer but they still have a nice crunch. Now, just before we serve this, I'm gonna throw in some cabbage. I don't wanna put it in too soon. It'll get way too soggy. So I julienne that up nicely and I'll just give that a little soak. This only needs about 10 to 15 minutes to just get a little flavor on it. We don't want to lose too much of our cabbage's crunch. Do one with cilantro and one with none. All right, John, you want to come try these? All right, let's eat. She saved one for me right here with no cilantro because I do not like cilantro. Smells delicious. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. I'm going to try the spicy sauce on it. Good. I used the original in the marinade, but now on it, I want some spice. That is such a great, rich, umami flavor. Touches everything. Salt, sugary, spice. Uh, the quick pickles just did on there. Perfect sharpness in that bite. I love these last wrap steaks like this. This is a great way to do it. Super low carb if you're going low carb. That's true. There's only a little bit of sugar in the marinade. Yep. The spicy is excellent. Not too hot, but yeah. you feel it on the back of your throat. Nice. Yeah, this came on the sauce stuff. This is good. This is a good product. Make sure you go check them out. We'll link all their information below. Again, she's already told you that. But, yep. Um, this is killer. This is a really good one. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. See you.